Hello and welcome fellow outcasts, I'm Dean, and before we start today's video, I do need to warn you that this video is full of spoilers. We'll be taking a look at the outcome and repercussions that will happen when we choose which faction to direct the power to from the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. With these choices that will be shown in today's video, hopefully it will help you decide which faction to choose for your style of gameplay, whether it's playing the hero or just being plain old evil. I thought I knew who I was going to side with, but as I was flipping these switches to direct the power to the main chamber, I found myself questioning all that I had seen up to this point. Was Reed Thompson really as ruthless as he seemed, or did he really care about Edgewater and all of its citizens? Was Adelaide really this kind old lady that had created a new way of living in this desolate land? Or was she just twisted and bitter inside because of the way her son had died under the care of Reed Thompson and the Spacer's Choice family? With Parvati by my side through all of this, it didn't take her long to remind me what may happen if we were to make the wrong choice. Once we do this, there's no going back. Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. As I accessed the computer terminal, my heart was racing and my head was spinning as I tried desperately to justify what I was about to do. And even with Parvati's warning, I decided to stick to my morals and choose to send the power to the botanical labs. Is this the right choice, I said to myself? I don't know, but I thought Adelaide's new way of living has to be better than the oppression of working for Spacer's Choice. So with my hands trembling, I pushed the button and doomed everyone in Edgewater. I can't stop thinking on Edgewater, Captain. I'm glad the deserters are going to be all right now they got power, but what about the town? All those people. You hear that? That low, pleasant hum of electricity? It whispers across the veil like the winds of change. You've done well. I would have paid my last five bits to see the look on Reed's face when the last lamp in town burnt out and the cannery fell to silence. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Blunt as a hammer. But you're right. Nothing can undo the past. Time's come to look toward the future. We'll grow, I expect. A lot of workers out there with nowhere else to go. I don't look forward to turning folk away. Camp's gotta stay pure, though. Can't have corporate loyalists mixing with us, no matter how desperate they may be. I am curious. Why did you help us? You don't know who we are. You don't owe us a thing. 
The plant's crawling with mechanicals, so it stands to reason you risked your life. You're not quite like anyone else I've met. You haven't had your consciousness programmed by the board. You're welcome among us if you're ever so inclined. As I walked down the streets of Edgewater, the lump in my throat was growing larger. What Adelaide said just before we left was still ringing in my ears. She was not going to accept any of this town's citizens into her settlement. And now the once busy streets and shops are locked with sealed doors because of the loss of power. The fate of this town is still uncertain, but I had to face Reed to see for myself what the outcome would be from the choices I had made. You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Is that right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. Liberating? Edgewater is my home. The only home I've ever had. I put down roots here, gave decades of my life to this place. I never asked to be liberated. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Edgewater's dead. Our cannery's dead. Adelaide's deserters are never coming back. Space's choice will shut us down before long. Some of us will die of illness by then. Some will move on. Some will starve. And as for me, I will tender my resignation, whereupon I shall be processed and then duly imprisoned for gross incompetence. Apologies won't give us our lives back, but for what it's worth, I am sorry too. Because I was not able to intimidate Reed to make his guard stand down, I had little choice but to fight my way into the factory to retrieve the power regulator. Many of the guards were killed and Reed lost his life as well. Also, a lot of innocent town folk citizens were killed in the exchange of gunfire. Turns out, they were the lucky ones. The fate of everyone else who was left alive is to starve to death or be killed by marauders or the savage beasts of this land. Is Reed hiding in there? What are we supposed to do now? Oh my God. What have I done? Nothing happened the way I had thought it would by sending the power to the botanical labs. So, with my curiosity overwhelming me, I decided to send the power to Edgewater instead, in the hopes that this choice would have a better outcome. I didn't see how it could, but with the thoughts of all those innocent people paying the price for my dislike of Reed Thompson, I unwillingly sent the power to Edgewater instead. I think you did the rightest thing you could sending the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for, even if they ain't care much for me. Upon my return to the botanical labs, an eerie feeling washed over me. 
With all of its people locked out of their homes, they were now gathered around the campfire, trying to stay warm as they struggled to make some sense of what had just happened. What happened? Sprat fell into a transformer again? One of us want to go see what happened? For these people now, more than ever, I'll need to be strong. Food bound to spoil at this rate. With their lives now placed firmly in my hands. I know, I'm trying to think. I will desperately need to convince Adelaide to return back to Edgewater for their own safety. Their lives will depend upon that. But deep inside, I know that this is not going to be easy. Some cuts just run too deep. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me. Why did you do it? You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me. And I alone know how to breathe life back into the Earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. I have got a means to cure the plague. And I will not share that cure until Reed leaves town. Those are my terms. The clouds of doom and despair started to part as I took this town's power regulator. So far, everyone's still safe. Adelaide said she would return if Reed would leave town. Can we really do that? Does Reed love Edgewater and its people as much as he says he does? Will he see the greater good by doing so? Or will greed, pride, and his position in the company cloud his judgment, therefore refusing to leave? Whichever the outcome, it will show his true nature, and I am prepared to take his life, if need be, to ensure the survival of everyone else. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? I appreciate what you've done for us. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. I'm a Spacer's Choice man. My father was a Spacer's Choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned-up freelancer, but it is my home.
I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. You are disparaging our parent company, and it is not appreciated. We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us. So the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Adelaide has been using dead bodies in her fertilizer? That's... Come to think of it, that's a stroke of brilliance. What a remarkably efficient solution. Recycling Spacer's Choice property long after its date of expiration. I was wondering about those missing bodies in Silas's cemetery. You're right, I am being obstinate. If the best thing I can do for this town is to stand down, then stand down I shall. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague, and she knows how to tend to crop. She's what this town needs. Look at that. The snakes come back. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater. Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. As Adelaide left our conversation to prepare to return home, I felt a sense of great satisfaction for the outcome of my decision to restore the power back to Edgewater. But, with that being said, I still felt a bit sad. Sad in the fact that my dislike for Reed Thompson and my short-sightedness in my first choice, although well-intended, was not the best for all of those whose lives were affected by it. Even though the Emerald Vale and all of its inhabitants will now flourish without disease, plague, or hunger as new life covers the land, 
I now fear for the rest of Halcyon. If left up to me to make the hard choices, we may have a long and rocky road ahead of us. That was a good thing you did, Captain. Helping to bring the deserters and Edgewater folks back together? I hope you rest well on that. Although still not great, sending the power to Edgewater gave us the best reputation amongst both factions, the Deserters and Spacer's Choice. You can get full reputation with the Deserters by sending power to the Botanical Labs, but if you do, you'll take a severe hit in the reputation of Spacer's Choice, and that may affect you later on in the game. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video and it helps you make the best choice for the way you play the game. Also, I'd like to invite you to join us sometime on our live streams of this game. We sure have a lot of fun. Alright everyone, thanks for watching, and just like always, until next time, please stay safe, and peace!